what's going on guys back with another episode of our in studio series uh this is where we kind of pick something off of our wall here and go a little more in depth in regards to like how we have it configured uh if you're wondering about the wall once again guys this is our hold up display wall done in their black camo um, as you can see they match it up pretty well. It's pretty seamless there with the camel pattern when you span it across the wall. Um, this is actually three sections of their wall display. Um, and you can get everything you want from vertical rifle racks to plate carrier and helmet mounts, uh, various handgun mounts, uh, horizontal mounts for your rifles, and then another vertical rack if you'd like. That's how we have it configured. And we got some faux brick in the background to give us our, our backdrop in our, in our, in our uh, studio setting. But anyway, if you guys want one of these from Hold Up Displays, uh, definitely use our code QVO10. It'll save you some cash. Uh, they were nice enough to sponsor this to us for uh, season four of our of our vlog series here on YouTube. But um, anyway, without further ado, let's get into what we came here to check out. Um, I was going back and forth between checking out my uh, ADM Captain Quint and the way we have it set up now with the, um, I believe it's 13.7 pin and welded uh, versus going into some stuff we've done to the Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol. And for this video, we're actually gonna go with the Beretta because we just filmed the range video on it, which you can check out here if you'd like. Um, but since we just filmed that, I wanted to show you guys what we've already done to it and how we have it configured and a little more in depth on it. So I'm gonna reach in there and grab that, bring this back over here. That way we have a little bit of room to maneuver around and let me adjust this. And when we do these videos, guys, we do them one take all on the iPhone and then we push it out to you guys so you can watch it. Um, here we go, I'll get in front here. So again, guys, this is our Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol um, semi-automatic shotgun. This thing was so much fun to shoot on the range. If you haven't checked out the full video, again, definitely hit up that link and check it out. But some people had questions about like the Velcro mount it comes with. So guys, when you order this shotgun, it comes with this female Velcro section and it's got a uh, adhesive panel on the backside. So you just, you, you, you peel off the backer and then you line it up and it's perfectly cut out for it. And then now you have these that you can purchase, which are linked in the previous video or on our website, qvoreviews.com. These are just simple Velcro shotgun placard side saddles that we got from Amazon. They have the male Velcro here, which you can hear, and then you can just line it up and boom. So now you have a side saddle and the cool thing, cause these come in like packs of four, say you run, you, you load all these into your, your tube, you can just strip it off and then pop a new one on when there's a lull in the gunfight or on the range, whatever have you. And then now you have a whole another six rounds. So these are some double op buckshot rounds that we're running here. Um, I got two rifled slugs back here on this rear side saddle. And again, this is just a uh an elastic um side saddle that we ordered on amazon i did cut a hole here in the seam with my knife so that way i could put it around the qd insert there and then it's nice too because the sling qd it stops it from moving forward and keeps it in place where i want it and then it's also cool having the um two slugs back here i keep these here because they're completely separate from all the other rounds and i know if i have to do like a select slug drill i can reach back here grab these and throw them into the open ejection port if needed and run those. Um, additionally, having it this way kind of gives me a nice uh, cheek weld or cheek position. I know exactly where my cheek needs to be in relation to the stock um, to perfectly get aligned up on sights on target. Speaking of sights, you guys might notice something a little different here. This is going to be the Aimpoint Acro P1 that we have mounted with a Ferrotech uh, really low profile mount. They make a mount for the 1301 series, which is very similar to the A300 series from Beretta and it allows you to mount, uh, remove the Picatinny rail and then really get a low mount. I'm trying to line it up here without hitting my phone. There we go. Let me turn the optic on for you. It lets you mount the uh, optic with a very low, low co-witness. Let's see if I can get here. There you go. You can kind of see it and come out here. There it is. So now you're able to line up your ghost ring sights here with the front fiber optic. If you need to go through the glass, say the optic dies or fails, you have that backup as well. And dude, super slim, super low profile. Um, we changed it out from the Picatinny rail section that we had there. Uh, other things you'll notice, super enlarged gate here. The port here is open. Um, it'll hold seven, six to seven tubes, depending on the length of two or uh, length of the um, round that you're using. And then very, very enlarged controls. 
on the charging handle as well as the bolt release. Nice, easy to use, easy to get to. Um, I've never really run semi-auto shotguns that are not in like AR configurations and it was very easy to get the manual of arms with this entire setup if um, you've run a pump action before. And the last thing guys is gonna be this uh, Valhalla Tactical Weapon Light. So this is their entire uh, M-Lock body with their Oda switch. Um, this thing is amazing to me guys. When you're engaging the shotgun here, any way you push the light, whether it's in, to the side, what have you, it's going to engage and work. You can even click it all the way in and just leave it on. But this thing did awesome and it's their light head as well, uh, pushing a pretty awesome lumen output. We have another version of this that we're gonna be checking out with the HRT head, um, but it is compatible with other heads like our own Attaball Illumination AI2 or the Mod Light series uses the same threading. So you'll be good to go if you wanna put one of those on there as well. But other than that, guys, um, cross bolt safety, as typical with most shotguns. Um, the knurling, the texturing, it was super aggressive when I first took it out of the box. It still is, but it's not as aggressive as I thought it was gonna be. Well, on the range, I don't mean that negatively. I mean that, like, I thought it was gonna cut in my hand and it actually feels pretty dang good. So um, I don't really have anything bad to say about this shotgun. Sorry about the camera angle. I know there's a lot of gun to try to get in this little camera. But um, if you are in the market for a semi-auto shotgun, I definitely think this is one to look at. We do want to get the 1301 uh, Tactical on the channel now because everybody's telling me that the A300 is pretty much, um, or sorry, the 1301 is pretty much the A300 on steroids. So, and I like the pistol grip version. Um, last thing, they do have a uh, polymer uh, clamp here that has built in uh, M-lock rail sections as well as QD swivels and man, do I appreciate that they went with standard like rifle QDs instead of the um, the loops that you had to like thread paracord through. I definitely prefer this. Um, I do wish, like I said in the first video, that this was just like up here somewhere instead or back there. Um, this just makes it kind of lie down upside down when you have to like transition to your handgun or something. But other than that, guys, this thing is awesome. We appreciate you checking out the video as always. Um, like, subscribe, check us out on Utreon and Rumble as well. We appreciate it. New videos every week. Guys, thanks. I'll see you in the next one.